Hello lovelies, my name is Mumta and welcome to my channel Geek Glitz in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. I make all sorts of videos but mainly Harry Potter so feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So it's been a while since I've done a video and especially one of these bird's eye view videos. These are actually one of my favorite types of videos because I feel like it gives you a good look at products up close. So I have a very special item or a couple of items I guess to show you guys today because I have got some Harry Potter stickers by Panini. So they are I believe a UK based company and they do stickers with all kinds of themes. These are kind of like trading stickers and in this particular case there is a witches and wizards sticker handbook in here and then there are spots to fill in stickers that you will get from these trading packs. My friend Nasheen who is Black Lake Mermaid and Nashley Poshley over on Instagram helped me order these from the Panini website and they are all items that are part of the Witches and Wizards sticker handbook series by Panini. So all of the stickers that are within these packs will fit inside the sticker handbook. So let me just tell you about each of these items one by one so you know what exactly I ordered and how many stickers I get with them and then we'll get started with unboxing these. So, okay, first up is this collector's tin. So I am obsessed with tins, so I couldn't resist this one. I had to get it, and especially because it features the trio, and I go gaga for any merch that has a trio on it. So anyway, it is a Harry Potter collector's tin. It was a random selection. There were actually three options of possible tins that you can get, but each of them have the following items. So inside these, you get 15 packets of stickers, as well as two double XL limited edition cards and it retails for 12.99 pounds so each packet and this is true for all the packets that you'll get in the series contains five stickers and then I also got this treasure box which is great because it's kind of like a cardboard box and inside is a witches and wizards sticker handbook in a hardcover album you get 16 sticker packets so times five that's about 80 stickers in here and then two double xl limited edition cards as well as an exclusive jubilee double xl card and this box retailed for 1995 pounds and you kind of need the sticker handbook if you're planning to collect all the stickers and fill in all the spots and this box had the hardcover one which is why i went for it but they do have some starter packs as well which contains a soft cover copy of the sticker handbook so i'm going to flip over this box so that we can get an idea of what's inside so here it says 32 page hardcover album the 16 packets two XL limited edition cards and this is the exclusive Jubilee double XL card so we can already see which one it is it is a Sorcerer's Stone poster or Philosopher's Stone and this particular series has a collection of 192 stickers that we need to find and that includes 32 special foil stickers 16 glow-in-the-dark stickers and 16 silky stickers I also got an additional set of 24 packets of stickers for 2160 pounds and I did that because I wanted to get as many stickers as possible so altogether between these three things that I ordered there are 55 sticker packets and that is equivalent to about 275 stickers and I need to find 192 stickers to fill in my book so I really hope that somehow I can fill in the book with these packets so now that I've given you an overview of the items that I got I'm gonna go ahead and open up the treasure box so that we could take a look at the album and the other contents in here so I'm gonna put these aside for now and get started with this one so again this is a amazing cardboard box very cool and look at that it is a sticker handbook this album is gorgeous so pretty like I said I love anything with the trio on it so this is just making me very happy I love the monsters book of monster over there and little Hedwig as well and it says panini on the bottom here 
Let me flip over to the back, another picture of the trio. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this sticker handbook aside so that we could just take a look at the rest of this box and it is packaged really well. I kind of love how it really feels like a treasure box with the things separated the way they are. So like we saw before, there are two XXL limited edition cards as well as the exclusive Jubilee XXL card. So here we go, this is the Jubilee card and it's so pretty it's so shiny and this poster is just amazing completely philosopher stone vibes and oh my god i just can't get over how sparkly it is it's really really nice and the back says it is a panini exclusivity seal jubilee limited edition card and then we've also got two double xl cards and this is one that has Sirius, Wormtail, and Harry. So this is Prisoner of Azkaban vibes. And it says blue limited edition card. And then over here, we've got one with Dumbledore, Ron, and McGonagall. So this one says secrets will be revealed. And on the back, blue limited edition card. I'm not sure in total how many limited edition cards there are to collect, but maybe we'll find out later. And then of course on the bottom here, we've got the 16 sticker packets and I'll get to those later. Let's take a look at this sticker handbook now. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Ooh. So first up, it seems we have a poster. So let me open up this poster so that we can take a look. All right, it is the trio in here. Huge poster of the trio. This will look great on a wall. And let me flip it over. And it appears it's a Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry yearbook. So there are all kinds of characters on this yearbook and we have to find the corresponding stickers. So that's really great. Hopefully we'll get all of them so that we can fill out all 12 of the stickers required for this yearbook poster. And what's great is there's also a spot on the bottom to place your own picture here and write your name, house, and motto. All right, so let's get back to this book. And okay, the first page is what do you need to become a wizard or a witch? And there are numbers to denote the stickers. So on the back of each sticker, we'll likely have the number and then we'll stick that corresponding sticker on its spot. So we got a picture of Harry here, got more slots here. Okay, so that's the whole book and there are a total of 180 stickers and the 12 on the yearbook poster and that's why we have 192 stickers to collect. And this back page here kind of summarizes everything that I was saying and it just says there's an official sticker album. You open a packet and there are five stickers in a packet. Each has its own unique place in the album and you match the number on the back of the sticker to the position in the album and then you carefully insert the sticker in the correct place. You can swap doubles with friends and you can complete your collection by ordering individual stickers from the website. So I haven't found any information in the book about how many double XL cards there are, but I'm gonna set it aside for now and we're gonna take a look at this collector's tin really quickly. So here's the content again. And on the back, it uh, describes the content as well. Uh, quite basic. It shows you there are two double XL limited edition cards in here as well as 15 packets of stickers. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and we have got this tin box with the trio here. It's so great. I figure I can put my tradable stickers in here once I have put the stickers I need inside the book. So it's a good storage tin for that purpose. I'm going to go ahead and open it and here we go. There are two cards. We have got Hagrid, Lupin, and Trelawney here, and it says, Mysteries Will Unfold. And this is a blue LE card. And then we've got a card with the trio. So it's Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and it says, Everything Will Change. So blue LE card. And then of course, we've got the 15 packets of stickers here. So here are the possible covers that you could get on the sticker packs. And I believe there are eight varieties from what I'm checking out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up all my packs and order them. And then I will show you the stickers after that. So 
So I went ahead and opened up all 55 of the packets, which resulted in 275 stickers, which I have organized in tens in order. And I also found all the duplicates and kept them separate. And I do happen to have a lot of missing ones as well, but I'm just going to put these all together now so that I could show the stickers to you one by one for the ones that I do have. So there are so many stickers and they feature scenes and elements of the Harry Potter world and movies. And we have got different types of stickers. So we've got some regular stickers with cool borders, some glow in the dark stickers, which look really great in the Patronuses, for example, some foil stickers, which are really nice to see the effect of, as well as some silky stickers, which are for the yearbook photos. So let me get back to the sticker book and we're going to just open up on a random page and I'm just going to do one of the stickers. So I've got sticker number 23 here, which will go on spot 23 and it is a Gryffindor sticker. It's actually glow in the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. So the sticker is nicely applied and I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the stickers and apply them to this book. Okay. So I went ahead and placed all the stickers inside this book. So let's take a look to see the different pages with the stickers. So the first page, I actually managed to get all of the stickers. It says, what do you need to become a wizard or a witch? So it's got a lot of scenes of Harry getting his letter, going to Diagon Alley, and then of course some potions and a broomstick. And these potions and broomsticks one are nice and foil, and I really like those. Okay, so next page, I got the majority in these two pages, except number 7 and 14. And it talks about like textbooks, more stuff you can get, a wand, and every witch or wizard can also bring their own animal companion. So yeah, and then we've got the Hogwarts Express here too. And then the next page is about the four houses here, but before that, this is about arriving at Hogwarts. So it kind of takes us towards the journey of getting to Hogwarts for the first few pages. And then we've got the four houses, as I said. So I am missing Ravenclaw. Oh, that's my house. And I'm assuming this will probably be a Hogwarts theme sticker. So I'm missing a couple of these on these pages. And then next we have got more of the houses. And these stickers are actually some of my favorites. They are like silk stickers. So they feel 
very much like fabric or like that they're threaded a bit and I just really like the texture of them. And then the next page is, is more about Adventures at Hogwarts. It's even got the Quidditch pitch here on the bottom, the fat lady over there. Um, it talks about the subject, so we've got some charms, more Quidditch broom practice. Look at the Vingardium Leviosa scene right there and Herbology right here as well as potions here. So that's pretty great. I am still missing a couple on these pages. And then we've got Hagrid will teach you about feeding, breeding. So we've got a lot of adventures. I think a lot of these are actually from Prisoner of Azkaban and like with the hippogriff and all. And there's a great foil sticker on the bottom with Harry and Hermione on the hippogriff flying at the end of Prisoner of Azkaban. And then um, we've got more about the different creatures. We've got Trelawney here. Uh, divination class. Then we've got the scene in Goblet of Fire where uh, McGonagall teaches Ron to dance for the Yule Ball. Okay. And then we've got some Defense Against the Dark Arts class related stickers. Some Oculumency lessons with Snape. And this is a foil sticker of Harry. And then we've got Transfiguration. We've got the OWLs in Progress with Umbridge. And then the DA class practice right here on the bottom. And then we've got some spell stickers. So I just love the scene here with Harry's wand lit up with Lumos, the Akio spell in Goblet of Fire, Ridiculous, Reparo. Uh, okay, I seem to be missing Protego Totalum. Totalum. Uh, Serpent Sorcerer here. We've also missing Revealio. So I need to reveal Leo this sticker right here. So it's kind of fun to see all these spell stickers in action. And then we've got the Patronus charm. So this section is pretty great. It's got like each of the characters in the foil sticker as well as their Patronus in a glow in the dark sticker, which is quite awesome. So we've got all sorts of characters here from the DA and more on the next page as well. Even Aberforth right there. Albus. And I, of course, seem to be missing a couple of stickers, which I will eventually get to add to these. And then we've got more about the different potions here. So Hermione is conjuring the Polyjuice potion here. We see it in effect. The Wolfsbane and a Felix Felices, uh, Jillyweed, Serum, Amortensia, and the Aging Potion as well. And then it's all about wands. So here's Ollivander in a nice foil sticker. And then what I love about these stickers here, it's actually you need to get a set of three stickers to get the character as well as their wand. So I'm missing the middle part of Harry's wand, the end of Ron's, but I've got the whole of Hermione's right here. So it tells you all about the character and their wand. And then we've got more here and I seem to have most of the ones on these pages except for the middle of Minerva McGonagall's. So the thing about putting these stickers was it was a bit tricky lining them up. So I'm going to have maybe a little bit of a difficult time getting this exactly in the spot to match the first sticker and the last sticker when I get the one in the middle. But I'll try my best. And of course more characters as well. And uh, we've got Voldemort here as well as Dumbledore and the Elder Wand. I mean, they're kind of the same, so I'm not sure why there's two of that. And then Hogwarts and Ground. So look at that troll over there, the foil troll sticker. That is amazing. And we've got the Room of Requirement here. The Chamber of Secrets over here as well. And the Library. And the Headmaster's Office. Really, really great pictures of all of Hogwarts. Uh, we've got more going on here with the Common Room, the Allery. I'm missing a picture of the hospital wing and we've got the lake and Whomping Willow is missing as well. But we've got some of the Forbidden Forest there. And finally, we're on the last page, Goodbye, and it talks about power doesn't only come from magic. The best thing at Hogwarts is that you will make great friends for life. So it's a couple of stickers showing the friendships at Hogwarts. We've got Harry and Ron. We've got this double sticker picture of Harry with Hermione and then this beautiful foil sticker of Ron with Hermione. So I can't wait to see the other ones when I do get them. And that is it for the end of this book. I did also put some of the stickers on this poster, which was the yearbook poster. So it had each of the character pictures as well as a sticker. 
and again these are like that silky fabric sticker so i thought these were really great and i actually really enjoyed putting them on they do kind of crease if you're not careful but i did find them pretty simple to put on actually overall most of the stickers were really easy to put on so that was nice the fun part was actually just getting them to line up exactly so you did have to do a couple of tries to get them lined up but once you get it right it's just such a satisfying feeling so anyway i seem to be missing harry harry okay i need to get him and okay this is the bottom half of this poster so we've got a lot of the professors here I am missing Hagrid, but I do seem to have the rest of them with Dumbledore, Snape, McGonagall, Trelawney, and then more characters like Longbottom, Malfoy, Cedric Diggory, and Luna Lovegood. So once this poster is complete, I think it would look great on a wall. And then here are the five total double XL cards that I got. And these are very sparkly and shiny. And thankfully, I did get some unique ones. Again, I'm not sure how many there were in total and I wasn't able to find out. But I'm definitely missing one with Snape and Malfoy. I know that for sure. And uh, the ones I have are pretty great though. And I'm quite pleased with them. So overall, I think I did a pretty good job with collecting most of the stickers in this collection. The Harry Potter Witches and Wizards handbook because there were a total of 192 stickers that I had to collect of the size and I managed to get most of them and I'm just missing 33 of them. So because I had 275 stickers to begin with, I ended up with a lot of extras which I've stored in here in this tin. So I'm gonna be reaching out to some friends to trade some of these and if they don't happen to have any of the ones I'm missing, then I could always get them from the website, the Panini websites allows you to place an order so that you can get your missing stickers particularly and it's a pretty decent price so i might just do that later on to fill out the rest of these missing pages and the thing is i didn't see an option to get the missing jubilee cards like the double xl cards so i'm not sure how else i'd be able to get them other than getting maybe multiple tin boxes but i'm not too bothered about that i'm fine with not being complete on those i just wanted to be complete with these stickers so i'll have the link to the panini website down in my description if you guys wanted to check it out you know panini's constantly coming out with different collections even the harry potter themes and right now i think they have a trading card themed one where you can collect trading cards and put them in a little trading card binder so i think that's pretty great the thing is once you start collecting these it is very tempting to try to stay complete and to try to get all of them and leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys thought of these products these Harry Potter panini stickers and the sticker book and everything. I personally thought they were really fun to work with and a great activity and I just love stickers so I enjoyed doing this and sharing it with you guys and in fact if any of you guys are collecting this and especially this particular series and you're looking for some extras and you want to try to trade or something do hit me up on Instagram at geeklets and let me know maybe we can work out some trades because that would be fun. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel Geek Glitz for more things geek and more things glitz. And make sure to hit that notification bell to be informed when my new videos are up. Feel free to connect with me on any of my social media. I've got a Twitter, a Facebook, and an Instagram. So come say hello as I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye!